This is code.org, and we are going to use an if statement and the is on bucket method to take all of the paint from the paint bucket. If the painter object is standing on the bucket, okay, then what? Oh, there's a bunch. So let's do this one step at a time. Oh, wait, nope, let's keep going though. Use an if statement and the is on paint method to move forward one square if the painter object is standing on paint. Okay, so if we're standing on paint, we can move forward. If we're on the bucket, we t take the paint. Use an if statement and can move to move forward one square if the painter can move forward. Wait a minute. Move forward one square if the painter is standing on paint or if the painter can move, move forward one square. Okay, so let's see. Oh, because of right here. Wow, this looks like it might be a lot of code. All right, so we know we start in this top left corner, so let's start with that. If, and we know conditionals, I'm gonna do if, I put the parentheses right away and the curly bracket and hit enter, otherwise I forget. Always use your resources. The show me how though, great little example right there. All right, so we gotta use an if. There's gonna be a few ways to do this, just to be clear, guys. However, it doesn't say anything about turning around, right? And we know we face this way at first. So I'm going to do outside of an if statement because it's not a condition that I need to check. I already know I want to turn. So if my painter dot turn left and maybe maybe you do put this in one of the if statements here somewhere and that could be right too. Let's just see if I got that. I test a lot. Whoop, and that is why. Oh, I left this here. Boom. Okay, that works. I'm going to throw my if statement back here. All right, so now that we're turned around, they ask us if I'm on a bucket, take paint. I know I'm not on a bucket yet. I'm not on paint yet. They're not asking us to paint. So I'll start with if I can move, I guess. So if can move, blah, blah. And this doesn't work, right? Because we need to tell the computer what can move. What has this behavior? Well, that's my painter dot. My painter is an object. It is an object created from the painter class. And the painter class must have a method, must have some behavior. And again, we can't see the file, but it exists that checks if the painter can actually move, which is awesome. And to be able to use it, to be able to check that behavior, to be able to run that method, we need to use our object. So my painter dot can move tells the computer, hey, I'm using the painter object. Now check. Can the painter move? That will respond with true or with false. If it is true, the code that we write here has to run. And I know what I'm gonna do, my painter don't move. So if we're allowed to move, I'm gonna go ahead and move forward. If it is not true, this code could not run. Only if we move will the stuff in here, can move, will the stuff in here run. All right, so if my painter can move, move forward. Now, I think it's a bit ridiculous. Here's what we could do. I don't think this technically meets the requirements, but it'd be hard to say otherwise. If I can move, and if I put painter move here three times, this wouldn't err technically. I'll tell you my issue with it though, is that we know we can move here. However, once we do move once, there could be something in our way. We can see that there isn't, that's fair, but there could be. And with how this is described, use an if statement and can move method to move forward one square if the painter object can move forward in the direction it is facing. So move forward, it even specifies one square. So I'm going to stick. This seems redundant. This is a lot of copying. I'm going to just do copy. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to hit paste. Now, would I personally take off for a student who did this? Probably not. We're still learning this. That's going to be all right. But technically, we're only moving forward one time. So I'm going to do copy. How many times do I got to go forward? Once, twice, and then I'm going to do a paste again. If you're copying and pasting in code, guys, there's going to be a more efficient way eventually, but this is fine. Uh, just for readability, I'm actually going to, it's going to be a lot of code on this level, I think. All right, let's try. Okay, so there we got there. Now I know it also specifies uh, if statement is on paint. Cool. So I need another if. I need to check something again. If. Uh, my painter, right? That's the object is on paint. And now I need the curly brackets. So if I'm on paint, what does it want me to do? Well, I bet it wants me. Oh, wait. If on bucket, that's what I need. If 
is on bucket, right? So now I'm asking the computer, hey, hey, computer, is my painter on bucket? And it says, my painter, oh yeah, my painter's this. Okay, is on bucket. And it looks and it says, mm, yeah, yeah, it is. If I am on a bucket, this is true. If I'm not, this is false. If it is true, what are we going to do? I'm going to say, take the paint. All right. Now, again, we know how much paint is in there. Oh, there's only one. So perfect. Boom. And I should take the paint. All right. And it will only happen if I'm on the bucket. Now what? Looks like I'm going to need to turn left once. And it says nothing about turning being in conditions. They could be or being in if statements. However, I'm going to keep it outside. Bam. All right. Then what? The paint. It doesn't specify. So if I wanted to be nitpicky, they gave us a picture, but it doesn't actually say where to paint. Not that I'm seeing, but that's fine. We know where to. All right, so I'm going to turn left, and then what? Well, it's movement again. And if I'm moving, I'm going to do if my painter dot can move, right? That condition, checking that, true, false. What am I going to do? Move. All right, cool. So now we're here, and this is obviously where they want us to paint. We could put this in a condition. I could throw it right here. I could throw it outside of it because I don't see anywhere where it specifies. I don't see where it specifies where we need to do this. So I could do it here. However, since it doesn't say painting is conditional, I'm going to do my painter dot paint and I'll follow with what they have. We'll throw down white paint. All right, that should get us here. Cool. All right, now what? Well, now I'm going to keep moving forward. However, they want us to use this at least once, right? That's why they gave us it. If statement is on paint, move forward one square. All right, fine. And once again, guys, this is a condition. If and only if we are on paint, would we move forward? I'm going to use that. All right, so now I'm here. I'm going to use a copy and paste because I'm repeating myself. Boom, boom, boom. And I'm going to, and now I need to move again, right? One, two, and I'm just using copy paste. So there's three of these. So I'm putting this down three times. So turn left. That's one side. That's the other side. This is the first side. So as far as I can tell, this meets their. This meets all of their requirements, right? Now, there's a few different ways that you could change or have this work that would be fine it would be technically correct because code is different and i just want to show you guys like i can move this turn left if i move this down here boom right now it's in the condition however it's not going to matter because i can still turn left right if i can move i know i can <gasps> it would matter instinct so what i would do here oh no i already know i can move so if i can move i couldn't move until i turn left so instead, actually, if I throw it up here, then it doesn't, it will work just the same, right? And that would still be correct. See, other things that my uh, student might do. And again, I dislike this because if you only have one if up here and then you move twice, I'll show you, that's going to work fine, right? But watch this. What if I move four times? This is going to err. Tried to move off the grid. And here's why. Because I checked at the top if I could move, and then I move once. It does not check here. It's not checking again inside of this. It's not checking each line. It only checked once at the top. And so I kind of dislike that way. Um, and another thing, right? We could move our lefts around. Another thing that uh, that might aid in clarity of this, we could always do instead of if can move, right? Uh, the The direction. So if I can move, and what direction is that? This would be east, right? And so this would be, if can move, you know, when I start out, it would be south. And I just, part of what I'm showing you guys is their code is, the goal of code is to solve the problem. And there's more than one way, there's more than one quote-unquote correct program. I'm going to go back to how I had it originally. But times a million is is not the only way all right that's looking good let's hit our test and bam hey we did it onward